Um, we're going easy. Yep. <laughs> this is my first time playing it, guys. I want it on easy. Don't judge me. I'm judging myself, actually. I'm like telling myself in my head, what a puss! You should do it hard! <laughs> Yeah, I didn't have the, the, I had it turned on to just the PC, and I switched it over, and didn't realize there was awesome music that is incredibly loud. At least in my head. I hope it's not too loud for you guys, but we'll see. We'll see. Because I know I'm pretty loud, but that doesn't mean anything. Which is why I couldn't stream out in the living room where I originally put myself. Because my daughter's room was, like, feet away. Ooh. Mafia 3 takes place in a fictionalized version of the American South in 1968. We sought to create an authentic and immersive experience that captures this very turbulent time and place, including depictions of racism. We find the racist belief, language, and behaviors of some characters in the game abhorrent, but believe it is vital to include these depictions in order to tell Lincoln Clay's story. Most importantly, we felt that to not include this very real and shameful part of our past would have been offensive to the millions who faced and still face bigotry, discrimination, prejudice, and something else. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't read fast enough. Don't you ever... New Bordeaux. A modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Ooh, the historic These graphics French are nice. And enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. <laughs> Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812. <laughs> Good and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. The graphics are nice. Woo! Mafia 3! I really want to play Mafia 2, but I I only have it on the Lincoln's PlayStation 3, I think. abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother... I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white. Maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Well, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two purple hearts, a bronze star, and the distinguished service cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home. It does look always good. Always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find <laughs> in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, you never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money, and he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. FYI, if I ever have a son, his name is actually going to be Lincoln. I totally decided that a while ago. <gasps> it's Bestie Love! I know I'm trying so hard to make the time. I'm making the time. 
still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. All right, let's see what we're doing here. What am I doing? Lincoln, pick up the keys. What keys? Are they this way? No? Okay. This way. I'm gonna take my time. I just lit something on fire. I'm gonna start being all southern here in a minute. I'm not southern, by the way. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. Oh my god, I didn't know that that's what was gonna happen! Oh, no way. Playboy ones? Let me know if it's too quiet now. It seems too quiet, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I did not know that was going to happen. She's in the other room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. Anything else I need to pick up? Okay. I did not know that was going to happen. We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come oh, on, yeah, I get to drive. Out. Wait, how do I get out there? Is there like a door? Boop, boop. I'm one beefcake, dude. Like, I just tossed this guy over my shoulder and I was like... Alright. Okay, yeah. Dump that motherfucker already. What? Oh! Am I throwing him in with the gators? Ha! That's awesome! Oh, maybe not. That would have been cool, though. Dang it. I'm just hoping I got to throw him in with the gators. But I'm excited! I haven't seen Bestie Love, you know, since I left. How long are you gonna carry him around? We need to get... Wait, how do I drop it? Oh. Boop. Why was I carrying them around anyway? Boop, 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 boop. All right, now I'm going to drive. Pinkerton. All right. There we go. All right. Oh, my God, there's a rear view mirror! Ooh, the music. Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. All right. Mm. My old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, I didn't know it was going to kill him. From being over in Nam. Someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Get out of my way. I don't want to hit any ladies. Yeah, I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. So come on, you going to answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. All right, I'll read after I'm driving. Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp. And the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone, dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. <laughs> I mean, oh, shit. God, damn. It's not a fault, but not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better have been one delicious fucking pig. The cars are a little touchy. The brakes suck. Just, you know, throwing that out there. <laughs> I 
I have a rear view mirror. That is so awesome, though. I can see what's behind me. I imagine that's going to come in handy at some point. On the left side of my name. <laughs> it depends on which one you want. I can give you one. I can't give you the... Oh, wait. You can't have them both. One's from having Amazon Prime. You just link your Twitch to it, and then the other one I can give you. Dodge at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. I don't want to hit anything. I haven't. I don't know much about this game, but people tell me that the cops are no jokes. So. Let's see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. 